So how do we export this baked texture out to Unreal Engine? Come, show, now. <laughs> now, if you wanna know how we went from high poly to low poly, there's a video in the description, check that out. So the very first thing I am actually going to do is hide the other meshes because I don't really need them. And then I'm gonna press Alt G to reset the location of this tile. Now I could have it in the center of the tile. However, I can add it into the corner as well. So it's kind of like a little bit more of a modular piece. However you wanna do it. From here, we go file, export. Mm, I'm gonna go FBX for this one. And over here in the path mode, I'm gonna change auto to copy. And then I'm gonna press this box and it's gonna add in some of the texture maps into the FBX. But let's just go export. Over into Unreal Engine, I'm gonna click import. Let's go find our bake toot.fbx, which is that file. Click open, blah, 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 that's all fine. Make sure that import textures is enabled and import all. For, so for some reason, not all the textures were embedded into that um, FBX file. So I'm just gonna grab them, click and drag them in here. And so now we've got kind of like all our materials, I mean textures. So if I were to click and drag this into here, let's move it up. And now you can see where the origin point is. It rotates around that point. So that's really important and it's hard to change that once the object's been put in. However, it does look like crud. So let's open up the material editor and I'm just gonna space everything out. From here, let's just get rid of the default color. I am gonna kind of like minimize this window and we are missing the diffuse, the glossy, the emission is there, the normal is there, the roughness is there. And I think that's about it. So from here, let's get the uh, diffuse, goes into the base color. Metallic is not there, so let's just break that, holding Alt and left click. RGB into the roughness. This one here is G, which is glossy. That can come into specular. Emission is there. I have left behind my ambient occlusion. So click and drag that one in there. Into here, mate. And now if I click save, it's gonna look okay, but our emissions aren't really emitting. There we go, so we've pretty much got what we're after. Now I think just the sun's a bit pale for this scene. However, if you want the emission to pop, back into the material, where's our emissions there? I'm gonna right click, add in a multiply. Multiply, put that one there, RGB into the top, this one into emission, and then we can go, I don't know, what do you want, 10? Let's go save back into the main scene, and now you can see that that's popping. And there we go, it's really, mm. I mean. <laughs> Subscribe so I don't have to edit myself back in. Eh?